may or may not remember how to vlog since it's been over a month since the last vlog, I do remember that you want to be facing the window. You want the natural light ideally in front of you, no light sources behind you unless you're a lighting expert, which I'm not. And I think we are good to go. Hello, ah, uh, hang on. Hello from the glamorous Homewood Suites here in Round Rock, Texas. I do not have a brand deal with the Homewood Suites. It's just a fairly solid spot to stay when you come to Round Rock, Texas, when you're visiting the lodge, which you guys should do ASAP. More on that in a minute. Uh, let's see, yeah, it's been a month or so. Um, I mentioned before in a previous vlog in previous years that when the summertime poker festivals are going on, I just tend to grind out the tournaments. Everybody who's making poker content is there at the same time. A lot of the videos have the same sort of feel to them. There's a lot of sameness going on. It just feels like less necessary, less important for the channel to be up and running. I, I, think, I think that's just like a personal preference kind of thing, personal feeling on the matter, because I know someone in the comments will say, yeah, but your own style is your own style. Why not just forget about what everyone else is doing, just be there. I don't know, I guess like when I make vlogs and when I first started making the vlog, the idea was to shake things up a little bit, fill a hole that needed filling, keep your jokes to yourself. Um, so yeah, I don't know, it doesn't feel like there's much of a hole that's there uh, when, the, when the, you know, all the, all the summertime poker stuff is going on. So anyway, just a quick recap, I did not win a bracelet, I didn't win any tournaments. Um, just two caches really, I think I played about like eight or 10 events or so between the new WSOP venue, which is Bally's in Paris, and then there was also a WPT event that was happening at the Venetian. I had two caches at the Venetian, one was at the start of the series, one was later on during the World Poker Tour event at the Venetian. So yeah, I mentioned that, uh, that Pot Lemon Omaha tournament that we got third place in in a previous vlog. There was a WPT event, $1,100 buy-in that I got 19th place in, cashed for this amount of money. So we're on the board for the World Poker Tour events. It was the first WPT event that I played uh, while acting as an ambassador for the World Poker Tour. Um, so that's good to get on the board right away. That's that's sort of a wrap for my uh, my summertime. Uh, you guys didn't miss too much while I was taking a, a month off from the vids. Played some pot in Omaha. I won some of those sessions. Played some uh, 5, 10, 25. Went well sometimes, did not go well other times. And uh, that was sort of the story of my uh, of my summertime. So if there was anything that like really needed telling, I for sure would have fired up the camera. You know, if I was gonna make a deep run in the main event or something, believe me, the camera was coming out. But uh, trust me, you guys didn't miss too much. Shout out to the, uh, the Hand History Lounge members that did have a uh, nice little score during summertime. Um, I guess uh, in total, I guess in total we cashed for uh, over $200,000 uh, across all the Hand History Lounge members. So that's pretty cool. Um, shout out to uh, Dan Sparger, final table, the uh, seniors event at Aria. Shout out to Nikki Limo, who final tabled a WSOP event for a six figure score. Um, so really proud of everything that goes on in the Hand History Lounge and the results that the, uh, the Hand History Lounge members are putting up. If you guys are looking for a nice little group of poker players to join in and chat about your hands and your poker journey with, strongly suggest hopping in to the Hand History Lounge. All right, we got more to discuss, but I need to go get some breakfast. Let's, uh, let's switch up the uh, scenery here a little bit. All right guys, uh, welcome to Cafe Java, where we are currently experiencing the opposite of what I suggested, lighting behind us rather than in front of us. That's okay, we power through. Uh, I'm also definitely rusty because my microphone battery is uh, is dead, so uh, hopefully you can hear me. But uh, great spot here. I got the uh, I got the iced latte with caramel. Breakfast on the way. But so much happening in the very near future. This uh, this guy, his travel schedule is about to be insane off the rails. What would you guys think if I were to say meetup game in Cambodia? Because that's actually a thing that is happening. Meetup game in Cambodia on the 17th of August. Can you get there? Can you make it to Cambodia for the meetup game? Um, it'll be my first time in Cambodia. We're going there for 
for some WPT action. There's a WPT stop in Cambodia. Uh, it'll be my second time in Asia. I've been to Shanghai and Beijing, but uh, never Cambodia. So looking forward to those drone shots, looking forward to checking out the poker, and that will be a fun meetup game to, uh, to throw and partake in. Um, we're going to WPT Australia. That's, that's next down the line uh, as far as international travel goes. We're going to WPT Tampa. There's gonna be a meetup game there those dates right here. It's gonna be insane, guys. Uh, travel schedule coming up over the next handful of months is going to be nuts. Pray for me, pray for my jet lag battles, even though jet lag is not really a real thing. It's, uh, you're just tired. I've been over this in the previous vlog as well. It's not real, don't worry. Gonna enjoy breakfast here, but uh, yeah, wanted to uh, drop mention of the insane travel that's coming up. All right, I'm gonna enjoy the, uh, the smoked sausage bowl that is on the way, and then uh, we're off to the uh, little card room that's up the road. Feels good to be back in the greatest card room in all the lands. The Lodge Card Club, Round Rock, Texas. <clears throat> Just behind me is the live stream studio setup, which I will be partaking in. We got some 5510 action. We got all the boys in the mix today. We got Brad Owen, we got Doug Polk, we got Seti with Poker Traveler, we got Big Daddy Chaz, Boston Jimmy in the mix too, and a few other friendly faces. So, always insanity here in the games, in the live stream games and elsewhere at the Lodge. Um, there's going to be a lot of uh, happenings here at the Lodge as well. I mentioned all the WPT stuff. Today is a live stream, tomorrow is a meetup game in the 1-2 streets, which Brad and Doug will be partaking in as well alongside myself. And then uh, next month, we're going to do it all over again. We're going to do a meetup game, and that is going to lead into the Millionaire Mayhem series, the Fall Mayhem series, the dates of which will be placed right here, I'm sure of it because I have the best editor in the game. That's gonna do it uh, for the uh, the chatting. It's time to play some poker. Um, I know there's been a lot of chatting in this video. That's what happens when you take a month off. But uh, let's, uh, let's set this camera down. Let's get my face off of the screen and get some cards up on the screen. Let's get in there, let's get in the mix. Let's hope for the best, or uh, at least for an entertaining session of poker. A diaper might be even some poop in his pants because he's going to be oh so nervous at the table with these gentlemen. Here's the flop. There's an ace for both Boston Jimmy and Andrew. DQ wants it. So like, just tell me like for regular. You guys got to smash that like button. Once we hit overtime, I am releasing Slicky. Okay. Okay. So. A lot of people have aces here, Boston and Andrew. And Chaz has six high. Charge a cleaning fee of about 125 bucks. And I would expect you to charge them the full amount of their cleaning fee pretty much. So like maybe a hundred. Does Chaz want to fire a bluff into two players? Mine would be quite ambitious. The more upscale the property, obviously the bigger it is and the more I see some cleaning fees up to like maybe. Look at Chaz eyeing up Andrew's stack. Yeah. Looks at Jimmy's stack. Do I want to bluff into the two people? And people the answer is yeah. yes. A lot of people charge 300 bucks, and then the king right. group charge them 150. 675. Andrew needs to worry a little bit about Jimmy behind him, but doesn't seem worried at all. Carving out the black chips, those are 100 apiece. Now he's counting the cucumber green ones. So we're doing a little bit of a stack inventory. It all equals roughly yeah, about 1,400. And you're taking a lot of time here on the turn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All in. He rips it. That's, one of the that's gonna be a quick hold, quick fold from Chaz. So nice play there by Andrew. Really thought it through, and he rips it. All right, cool. Four players to the top. Remember that one time you made 175 and nobody pulled it because they don't care about money? Yeah, that was open. That was just a. 7 4 deuce, two diamonds. Nut flush draw here for SETI. $225. Five cuts, $225. Mimi's sixes are still in the lead, but facing some heat right now. Makes the call. I know. 
So the poker traveler has the any ace, oh, nine, or diamond. You. Oh, that's like that next level. It's, yeah, it's, it's, everything you do is it's tricky. Super and there's the ace of hearts. <laughs> I'm going to bet. I went to watch the absentee you with SETI. Seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred is a bet. Watch out. SETI. The house. Seven hundred announced. I actually grabbed eight, but I stretched it and I pulled the one back there. And this guy can stretch, dude. Have you seen this guy stretch before? No, no. I could kick it over his house as a world. For sure. Uh, it's, uh, I could kick over Brad's head and he's 6'4. That's not a challenge. <laughs> right okay, I could probably no, kick over, over Brad. I'm impressed. He, he probably, I probably can. Or, or, or like, he, to, he, to he, his he, level. He's like incredible. For sure, like, for sure to his yes, head. Nini nice. makes the call a non believer putting <laughs> Poker Traveler on a draw. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Five, Ace. Check by six. Goes check check and the ace is good. I have diamonds. Oh yeah. my god! Dude. Just having sided diamonds, dude. How many shots does a photographer take in her allotted time? How many pictures are we gonna have to go oh, through? Rick? Be a thousand, a thousand of them. Tell you a story after this hand about a photographer. <laughs> it's not a joke. It's a story. I don't need to. Queen seven yeah. five. It's the flop. You'll like so, this somebody one. came over to your house and took pictures of you on your couch and your tidy whities or something. I, I don't need to hear that. You'll like this one. Four bets, three hundred. Sevens here for Nimi. No clubs on that flop or an ace. Seti's out of there. Yeah, Kevin, Kyle, we we know that we're. We're on a delay. We fixed it, but since then, so the king and the queen are having tr trouble in the reader. Andrew checks it again here. Wool dog fires a double barrel. Doug asking for a count, so he has ideas of firing, and it's probably going to be for all of it. Doug only sitting on 1.1 right now, telling a story, and if he rips it, I believe it will get through, but he does not. He goes check, check, and to the river we go. It's the five of hearts. Five of clubs. Five of clubs, correct. Sorry. Can you read? Yeah. Mocus, thank you for that comment. <laughs> good, good one, Rick. Good one. Good one, Rick. See, I did that on purpose just to see how spicy you were going to get. I can take it. If Doug rips it here little suspicious and never really liked the ch check, check. Yeah, he waves the white flag. Check, check, and okay. it's seven and fives seven. for Andrew. Oh, hey, WPT next week. Your head's going to be huge like a hot air balloon <laughs> if you double up. <laughs> That's the other side. This is good. Wow. Mixing ass, are you nervous? Not nervous. You, you look nervous. Yeah. Queen 10 7 Skittles. A pair of queens for Doug. He chose Smoothie King. He's good, Mike. Fucked up. Got shot Broadway for Javid. And Open Ender for Andy. Yes, we can. You staying along? Yep. Let's go to dinner. What do you like? We're all going to dinner, Rick. You coming? I can't today. Remember, I'm moving. <laughs> you can move tomorrow. Those are really good people, right? <laughs> S.A. No, Martin, thank you for that $5 you. super chat. Thanks. Soda money, let's go. Yes, thank you, S.A. Oh, Martin. for Rick, not for me, though. That's yours. Yeah. What time did you good thing we split it, though. I share. Uh, I don't want to actually share a soda with you, though. That's gross. Open ender for Andrew. My wife had a flight yesterday morning. Doug has the top pair, pair of queens. And Javid looking for that jack to Broadway. Let's see what the turn brings. It's the king of spades. So that works too. Not the greatest card there for Andrew as he has top pair and he's open-ended, but he's behind. Checks all the way around. Free card on the river and there's another jack, jack of diamonds. And we are on Broadway. Javid. From Toronto. Oh, he checks it. Sneaky check. Checks all the way around. Nobody bites. 
So pretty sneaky move there from Javits. Snap check from Doug. Snap check from Andrew there with his two pair. Shout out to Kendall. Come back soon. Mimi here three bets, 420. I appreciate it. for all you guys who appreciate the 420, so. We're only about five minutes away from 422, so it all checks out. That's the wager here. Now Ricky says, what do I do here? He's been rather quiet so far on stream. Looks, looks a little nervous, talking, giggling, but he's holding a bunch of black Damn chips. Ricky's going all in with Queen on. 10 suited for 1900. Go on. Okay. Andrew makes the call with Ace Queen. Ricky's going to see the bad news. He's totally dominated here. Ace Queen versus Queen 10. Ricky ended up sticking it in, huh? Wow. Andrew oh, Nini's in good shape here. Ruben Vida Loca with the Queen 10. The <laughs> Did that go over your head, Rick? You got it? Yeah. Do <laughs> three. Nine. Looking for a 10 ball. There's only one remaining. Otherwise, Ricky's going to torch 2K. The 10 of spades doesn't yeah. come. And Andrew Nimi is going to an put another one in there. Shit, because he cried like a little baby last stream when it should have it should have been on last stream. Andrew makes the call. Nine eight of diamonds against the Rockets. Six seven seven. Open ender, some overs, backdoor diamonds. So Andrew's gonna like that flop. <laughs> Jimmy quickly fires in a C bet to 75. Andrew going nowhere just yet. Do you do this while I've literally started golfing all lately? Yeah, you can really tell. I can tell you've been outside. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I would go there and golf with no sunscreen and come out with no sunburn or anything. Oh, well, Not that's tan, good. No sunburn. That's good. Like, I don't even sunburn. That's really amazing. Oh, I think if we get you out there. I'm telling you. I think we get a nice sunburn going. So you can't I mean, tan, but you also can't sunburn. That just doesn't yeah. add up. I think you should have sunburns. <laughs> I mean, if you put me in the right situation, I mean, it's <laughs> like, like, let's, like, tie him down. <laughs> tie him down. <laughs> like, on 35. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there's a set for Boss wow. Jimmy, but not a set. Row, row. Jimmy there's the boat. Turn. I didn't see the sevens out there. Boat. Yeah, but that's a good card there for Andrew. He thinks maybe his diamonds are alive now, but he is drawing dead. The check mark for Jimmy, and Andrew checked raise the flop, so he's going to continue to fire. Boston Jimmy has him crushed. Yes, it's over. Andrew just doesn't know it. I don't, I don't work if you're games. Boston Jimmy, I just want to see him you call here in a, on the Ace of Diamonds turn. Right. Obviously going nowhere, like but I think he's going to fire in a raise. Are you? That, yeah, that's, that's me like tan. That just looks like hair. It <laughs> <laughs> doesn't look like that's tan. That's just like pasty hair. If we shave you, does indeed <laughs> fire in a raise somewhat like, was it 1050, 1100? No, 1. 1.6, oh, a very own. big raise here from Jimmy. In my face? And now this just puts Andrew in a really weird spot. That's not going to do much. I just want to see it. I want to see how pale it is underneath the hair. Oh, you're just doing it for personal Yeah. Jimmy staring like right that. into Andrew's soul. Oh, it's pretty pale. Andrew not looking over. It's destined to be pale, dude. To his left. My eyes on the board. Like, pale, Rand, I don't know you. Like, walk up to you. Like, I was on the beach once. This woman's, like, walking along the beach. Andrew's going to come along. Carving right? out, like, calling chips. A like, diamond would be really disaster yeah, for Cap Nimi. <laughs> No help. Stinks. Doesn't matter what <laughs> comes. This <laughs> pot's going to Jimmy. That is like a weird comment, man. And perhaps <laughs> roads to an exit because Andrew only has nine high right now. Shuts down check. And Jimmy's going to rip it. All you can eat. It's going to be a quick fold from Andrew. <laughs> and I think physically, like, my body wasn't tired. Um, but my head hurt at the end of every day. Wow. Aces for Andrew. Makes it 75 over to Boston Jimmy, who's been in fuego today with 
four six suited. How many sets has Boston Jimmy flopped today? A bunch. Has to at least be like four. Uh, it, it probably is. I've seen I've seen oh, a lot. Shit. Good for him. We're in with Seti Trevino, who is the poker traveler, who finished very well in the main event of the World Series of Poker. Queen 7-4, couple spades. Andrew does have the ace of spades. Poker Chat Pro, thanks for saying that, buddy. I try to respond to everybody, whether it's on uh, IG or Instagram. Um, I'm sorry, IG or Twitter. Yeah, I made it great. Seat seven. Boston Jimmy raises it. With a pair of fours. Andrew going nowhere. I have a question for you, sir. What's that? In a situation like this, are you rooting for a six or a four here in the booth? Not about, not a, you know, anything against Andrew yes. or Jimmy, but just like, are you rooting for it? For honestly, yes. Yeah, I want to see the pain. Right? I mean, you just want. I, I don't want to see anybody lose. I just want to see action. I want sure. to see the 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 aha moment. I get it. The drama. That's yeah, like, what people are tuning in for. Like if everybody could break even at the end of the day, but the entire stream is just bad yes. beat after bad yes. beat, action after action. That'd yes. be great, right? That's exactly. Ideal. Exactly. You got you got what streams are all about. But that's not going to happen. No, somebody's going to lose, and somebody's going to lose big. About all day. No, I don't know. That night, eighteen oh, was. Yoshi so wants to see somebody stack disintegrate. <laughs> there you go. Some people. Did he just go all in? He did. He did. Oh, I didn't realize. He only has 2.1K. Yeah, if he's calling 800, he's just going to rip the last 1,300. And uh, Jimmy has $1,300 to call. He's going to be getting 3 to 1. Actually, 4 to 1 on the call. And Boston Jimmy gets away, and Andrew Nini. There you go. Good fold, Jimmy. He's going to scoop up a nice pot. With the aces, it was my mistake that he had about. And when you raise on the turn, when you had the aces, Andrew had a, a combo draw. Open yes, with flush draw. Yes, yes. Uh, he said he was drawing dead. He said seven eight or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. drawing yeah. dead indeed. Yeah. That yeah. was a yeah. good yeah. card for you there on the turn. Gave him yeah. another diamond. To yeah, continue chasing. Yeah, yeah. Got lucky in a few spots. You know, sometimes you need this. I haven't been doing well on streams just because uh, you know sometimes that's how it goes. You know. And uh, got a break. Hopefully, you know, we come back and Ricky has uh, won a massive one. Hopefully, he'll get aces versus kings oh, or something. Who knows? I can't wait to see that. Yeah. This He's, orbit. That's, it's going to go down in stream history, <laughs> Jimmy. Stream history. Uh, Mike, you're invited to go and do it yourself uh, the next one. Oh, I mean, uh, do it, man. Why not? Man, I, you, you, like, I, don't, like, I don't get nervous at the poker table, but... I, Got a little nervous. You even said, I can only imagine what Rick's going through. Yeah, right he's. he's a I've never played with somebody else's money in a, yeah, in a cash game. Especially I this said, side. relax and play the game. You know, it's a game, man. Just play the game, see what happens. You know, tough spot. He's got, uh, you know, uh, Chaz on his left and he's stuck and, you know, he, he can pull you and he can test you, you know. Chaz is out there in the streets today, getting after it light, yeah. putting a lot of pressure on, not with premium. So yeah. he's very, very active today. Three bets this pot connects with the ace here. So he's going to continue to tell the story. Nimi just with two overs 375 is the wager chat we have three over 3,000 in the uh in the live chat hope you guys are subscribers you've liked this video you're followers of boston jimmy if you guys got any questions for boston jimmy fire away in the chat we have a big monitor in here so he's seeing the chat and he'll be happy to answer any questions you guys have for him one of the nicest guys in all of poker two of hearts here on the turn chess slows down here N nimi's still involved Imagine he's going to want to see a free card and not bloat this pot. But he's thinking about it. Andrew takes his time, and he is reaching for chips. So senses some weakness out of Chaz. Don't see Chaz folding at all here, and it's a decent-sized bet from Andrew. So Rob is asking, um, I've lived in Boston most of my life. I'm originally Lebanese, and now I'm between Vegas and Cincinnati. And Austin. In Austin. Uh, hopefully soon we'll be uh, full-time. Try to convince my girlfriend and we'll move. You could have a vacation house here. <laughs> Absolutely. Real estate's good here, too. You can show us your ways. You've already been a nice little 
teacher to Seti. Seti's got a bunch of properties down here as well. Nine of diamonds on the river. Chaz has the check mark. It's just king high for Andrew. I, is he going to fire here and try and steal this pot? Chaz played this hand pretty well here. Nimi knows he has no chance of winning here at showdown. So going to have to put something in here large. Maybe something like 1.8, 2.1, 2.2, 2 somewhere along those lines if he wants to win. And he goes for third pot sizing, 1,100. Don't think that's going to work. Kind of surprised Chaz didn't even call off sooner. Don't see Chaz folding here at all. So for the guys that they're asking, it's actually in the story. It's not a post. If you go in the story, there's a, the last post that tells you to comment uh, the stack so you can do it on there. People said they uh, saw us playing Jenga in the stories too. <laughs> Jenga gate, where the, where the Jenga's taller than I am. Yes. Stay tuned tonight. We're going to have Brad and Andrew and uh, uh, Skull and a lot of other travelers coming. Chaz is coming. I we'll did tell the out. chat how terrible you are at pool and ping pong. My the apologies. worst. My apologies. The, the worst. Probably could be the worst. I'm not a sports we guy. We had some you know. good ping pong battles. Yes, yeah. yes. We'll have it again tonight. Chaz know? still is here in the blender. 1.1, 1 .1, 1,100. Is this going to get through? I don't, don't think so. It's not. Cool. Yeah, I'm surprised Chaz thought about it for that long. I thought he would think that his eight was good. <laughs> Knuckles on the table it's, from uh, Andrew. Nice pot there from Chaz. Seven. Seven. Jack 10 for Seti. Raises to 225. Andrew thinking about it. So, so far we're 0 for 1 on hands getting involved with it. And it looks Three. like Andrew wants Three. to play for a little bit more. Damn, Andrew really coming up with my straddles. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Folded ace eight suited yeah, yeah. on the button. So you folded deuces and you folded ace eight suuited to a six fifty you know, bet. I'm not. You were the with, one who told me it's not ace eight. It's not that good of a hand. This is not your typical one two table where you know. Yeah, you can't look at the six fifty and say, yeah. oh, it's six fifty. Yeah. You just have to, you know, these are discs, here. you know, means like a tournament thing. Who cares? You know, they're just discs and they have numbers on them. Just throw them in the Sitting around ball. waiting for aces? Get your nid alerts out, Chatsville. Yeah, you're getting roasted. <laughs> because you are going to be surprised. <laughs> they're already surprised, or they're actually not surprised. They know Nitucci. I love it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Just don't want to play anything that's a little bit tricky, huh? A little bit uncomfortable to play. You just say, oh, I'll just fold. Slick net. Man, you guys are roasting me. <laughs> Keep it up, folks. Too busy finding where the camera is and looking like a, a lost puppy. Oh, Chatsville, you are you are going to be so well, so amazed. You're already 0 for 2. So you played one hand, one, one hand, and then you walk off. That's what happens, probably. You go for one for nine, you win one pot, and they say, okay, I'm done. Diamond draw now for Seti. Also, a queen would give him a straight. Mystery hand. Andrew's a reader the past two uh, times have not been registering. So we're going to play in the dark here with Andrew. And all in. All in and a call. So we're going to know what he has here. Rick, you didn't tell us we had some big pot energy while you are at the table. Two draws. All of a sudden, you go uh, out there and the right, one, the all ins come, not from your stack. Yeah. I mean, it's probably better for the shooting pots, but okay. One time okay. it is. So we need to, we need to show right. the cards and bring it to the court. Okay. King Jack. Top Perfect. pair for Nimi. Said he okay. needs a queen or a diamond. Uh, so kind of committed to it. One time, Max Payne, 8.1 in the middle, 12 one, outs. One Some of them are already dead. One time. Winner by three. Oh, you guys. There's the jack, oh, and Andrew's going to double, going to stack oh, Seti, the poker traveler. <laughs> <laughs> or, no, he's going to double up through the poker uh, traveler. Three pages. Four. What three card are you looking for? Huh? You are summoning the poker gods there. You're trying. Really trying to win these pots. <laughs> 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 Let me guess, more jack six? Four players. 10-4-3. Seems pretty suspicious. $10. Four. 
pair of tens for both Seti and Andrew, so. Oh, that's a great laugh. Queen of clubs. Oh, wow. Fuck. 10-8 still in the lead. 10 still in the lead. We're treading lightly on this one, though. It's another queen. So Andrew's going to lock this pot as long as he stays in. So, uh, you know what I almost did? I hope you were above I almost did this. <laughs> and hit like a one pander. So, so then the most you're above it right now. As you went to go do it, he had the chips like, like this waiting for yeah, yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Put it in. No, don't put it in. Don't put it in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Oh, I already went this way. No, he hasn't. I have a, I have a 10. Three fold. Yeah. So Andrew's going to take a seat. Oh, got you, buddy. Fuck my life. And down to three, uh, four players. Run back and continue. Still standing at all or buying. Then we're going to have a mix, uh, six max <laughs> turning, August 12th, $500 buy-in, um, unlimited re-entry, 30-minute levels. And then on no, August no, no. 13th. Fourteenth and fifteenth, the first ever <laughs> heads up tournament championship. Thousand dollar buy in. You win, you move on. You lose, you're out. We're capping it at two hundred and fifty six players. Heads up. Seven calls, folds. Just like March Madness. You win, you move on. You survive. You lose, you're done. You're toast. I'm capping it at 256 right players. No, I said I, I've you know never won any like really big significant pots against Andrew. Oh, I said yeah, only, yeah. only like yeah, yeah. against Brad. I, there's only one I remember. We were playing at the Nugget. That was the only one. Oh yeah. <laughs> it wasn't even like. Yeah, it wasn't even Texas. Yeah. Surprising free players. It wasn't even that much money, but it just felt dirty. Three ways to a flop. Three seven six deuce two uh, pair for poker traveler he's starting check. to heat up folks check. so lots going on oh really so Anthony said the tournament director said if we need more matchups they will be added to the heads up did not know that thank you Yoda so it's not capped at 256. How about, I did not know that. These, these things keep changing on me. What I'm trying to say, folks, is if you like tournament or cash poker, this is the destination right now. The Lodge. So much to do in and around the area, but if you love poker, this is the place to be. Nine of Diamonds. going to get away from this. Said he's been... That's what I had last time. <laughs> 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 Mimi's talking, trying to get Seti to say something. I'm already all in. Do you like them all? You'll find chips. Like chips that are made by him. So I take those as like two. Three. Two. Not much. Yeah. More than one. Go on. You don't have to. 
And Andrew correctly gets it away. Six seven. Twenty dollars for six seven. Twenty dollars for six seven. Five six. Win. Said he's going to take it down. Ball field five, five, six fold. Yeah. Ball field three players. Three players here. Yep. Ace five, queen five, ace jack, ten ten, deuce. Four is one one to go. I like when Doug and Andrew get involved in pots. Andrew made a good lay down against Seti. He was in the tank for a while. Was that, that was the, the first tank. hand that I sat down. What uh, Seti had two pair. Well, what did, had two what pair. did Andrew have? Andrew had a seven for middle pair top kicker. Okay. Second pair top kicker. He was doing a lot of talking to Seti, trying to get it. Well, read. Seti, you don't know. I mean, Seti's been playing some crazy stuff today. You never know with a lot of these players at the table. Shannon, no, that laugh is one and only Big Daddy Chaz. <laughs> and Doug's going to take down another pot. Two in a row for Doug Polk. At this point in the game, if it's not a super swingy session that we're having in the live stream at the, uh, the lodge, then something is uh, something is odd. Something is wrong. But it was definitely another swingy session down in the uh, early to mid stages, all the way back up to plus three k or so in the mid stages, and then uh, trickled downward, trickled downward. Played a lot of straddle pots. Didn't go my way towards the end, and end up booking a win. Not that big of a win, $480 win, which in this game with these maniacs in that lineup is pretty close to break even, but we'll take it after being stuck earlier on in the uh, in the session. Up $480, booking the win in the 5, 5, 10, 20, 40, 80, 160, all the way up to $1,000 straddle sometimes. That $480 will go towards the dinner and drinks bill tonight. Hanging out down here on West 6th Street, which is one of the spots to go to if you're looking for an area that is walkable and bar hoppable in downtown Austin. Hanging out at this, uh, this, this bar back here with a live band with a few of the other guys who managed to book a win tonight. It's funny, when you book a loss, you're not all that eager to, uh, to go out for dinner and drinks, but first stop is beers at this place with a very cool live band. Second stop is dinner at a place called Jay Carver's, which has no relation to the greatest poker live streamer of all time. Funny name, but uh, supposedly a fantastic restaurant, so that's where we'll be. Back tomorrow for the meetup game and uh, plenty more shenanigans before much travel coming up in the very near future.